Clark, your fans, welcome to Bison TV as we bring in the highlights of the game between the Basic Stoke Bison and the Sheffield Steel Dogs here in the EPL. There's about seven to eight weeks to go here in the regular season, so every win is going to be vital as we go towards the playoffs. Tonight, tough challenge for the Bison against the Steel Dogs. OK, the last couple of times the Bison have played them, they've pretty much run the score up over them, but they're a tighter unit now with Andre Payet in charge. It's going to be interesting to see how the Steel Dogs line up tonight. Let's see how this one got on then, shall we? Joining me in the commentary box tonight is Nigel Simmons. Big slash of Moslins, but Chins will collect and he goes for the pass into the middle. Bronneman and Lauko try to flick it onto one another. And Lauko will collect it and neutralise now, but look at the Steel Dogs, that's a good pass though. Bronneman back into Chin, across, oh, nearly could have released Lauko on the far side, but the Steel Dogs will now come back the other way. Oslins gets the feet moving, he's got Brittle in support, might not need him though, as Oslins goes back and that's a lovely finish there from Yanis. Oslins there. Went in on the backhand and Dean Skins committed himself, went down to a 13 to 55 to go in the first. The Steel Dogs take the lead at 1 0 with a superb finish from Yanis Ozzelins. It was indeed a superb finish. And I think it's proof. Oh, proof. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. rebound off the board. Oh, chance wow. did it comes in there. Funny boards here at Basic Stoke at the moment. They're trying to work this one around as Ozzelins collects. He goes in and tries to break it up. Ozzelins looking to wrap it around and set something up. Eventually it go, comes, go, go. And Davies oh, go, breaks go, 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 it out of the zone, oh, and yes, again, maybe one. a chance here, Kibeko now going to come forward, Mori in support, Kibeko goes oh. in, big save by Ben Bounds, Bison will keep this one in the zone though, shot across, yeah. check, Steve Moria! He may be 50, but he still scores those goals for fun there, that's what it's all about, with 6 minutes and 57 to go, in the midnight hour, we cry no, 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 he delivered and the Bison are back at one all. Bison get Reynolds with the shot rebound. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's going to be a goal. Big oh, shot oh, there oh, by Reynolds. Oh. Took a massive deflection off Ben Davies. Everybody falling apart from one man. Big Victor Kibbeko finishes it. It's with four minutes and 31 to go in the first. The Bison are taking the lead at two to one. Hey, two goals on the scoreboard. Doesn't matter how they come. Yeah. All you got to do is point at that board. It's what you want to see though, the more open the game is, the more chance there is for the Bison oh, I feel to, uh, to get on that scoreboard. As Duncan tries to clear out and doesn't so, Callum Best keeping that one in, tries to find Osman on the layback as Duncan and Wiggins, Wiggins lands Duncan into the board there. Oh. Pretty hard, fair check, yeah, he but looks... that hurt. As that's a good cross ice, ice pass there, finds Brevis into the zone. And that's a good, oh, oh Oki just getting a stick on that one there, nearly fell in the favour of the Steel Dogs. Oak for choice, oh. clear out, Carl Mann at the net for the Steel Dogs. Turn and shot, turn oh, and go! Dear. Sheffield Steel Dogs bring themselves back into that one. Lloyd Gibson found himself in the slot. Just one of those chances that falls occasionally to players. And Gibson made sure he took it to so two minutes and 29 to go in the first. The Steel Dogs level it up at two. If the call comes late, it's all about when this call is made, oh, isn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah, it's when the... When the line is when the line is changed, but. it's when the light comes on that it matters. So the uh, Steel Dogs, that's good play there. He gets inside, save off skid, rebound, oh. goal! Well, the Sheffield Steel Dogs come out flying at the end of the period break, and it's another I think goal. It's that man again, isn't it? Is it Yanis Ozelins? I believe it could. I don't well. know, is it? I'm not sure actually. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, looks like it is Yanis Ozelins with it once again. So we're one minute and 28 to go in the first. The break hasn't done the vice any good because the Steel Dogs are now 3-2 in front. One minute to go then in the first period. Chin collects it up, works it forward. The Bison will want to get this one level. Chin tries to go around Haywood. Haywood collects though, and will look for the big open ice pass. Nearly comes off for him. It's just collected instead there, and Bronneman's now going to have a go in neutral ice. Going to skate it in, get the shot off. Oh, oh, great goal. Big screen by the team there. Then Oli Bronneman wasn't going to let up on it. And Ben Bowles just needed to see it, didn't at all. Bronneman lets fly. The Bison draw it level with four minutes, 41 seconds to go in the first period. Comes back out to the point. Kibenko on the point, looks it across, can't work it in. Kibenko goes for the double collect up. Davies under pressure in the zone. Just keeping it in the oh. zone there, the Bison, but the Steel Dogs will come out. Here comes Pyatt. Pyatt shot rebound. Oh. Sent skins the wrong way off Skeen. Comes back in, works around. Brittle looking Ooh. for Pyatt, held up in the zone by Skeen. Grimanis dumps in behind. Skeen steps in. Pyatt oh, got punch it. There. No call on the play. Nigel, obviously, that break dip didn't go down with the game plan. So the Steel Dogs are going to work this one around. Try and create it for themselves. Stuart Brittle win control of the puck now. 
Brittle being held wide though by Moria. Moria will keep battling there for the chance where he gives it up and he does so. And Kibenko breaks and look at Ben Davies go. Look at Kibenko go as well. Charging in Kibenko. Gets the layoff to Davies. Davies skips inside. Steve Moria with the shot. Oh, oh what a oh, goal. Steve Moria lets fly. What a way to celebrate there. The perfect team goal from one end of the ice to the other. And there he goes. How do you like it? How do you like it? Boom, oh, boom. Six minutes and 33 to go in the second. Good Steve Moria celebrate a very special week of the hat trick. Find out it's 4 3 to the bison. Uh, I want to check. I think there's four imports on the ice. Brevis, unless he's not an import. Oslin's is that Brevis must not be an import, which has slightly thrown me. Because oh, Bullman oh. skates inside. Mo isn't on is on the ice. He will be wanting that goal for the hat trick. I mean, 23 seconds. Duncan I held up. Ginny's calling four imports. He's four imports. It's four imports on the ice. Moria's gonna collect it. Steve Moria! Yeah! The hat trick for Steve Woo! Moria! And the Basing Stone yeah. Bison straight away to the families in the crowd. But that finishes the night in perfect fashion. 13.4 seconds remaining. It's 5 3 to the Bison and a hat trick for Steve Moria. <laughs> It was a battle, but the Bison got there in the end, coming away with the 5-3 victory. And what a performance from Steve Moria tonight. Three goals on the scoreboard. Certainly great to see that he's still got it. It has been quite a momentous week for Steve. His achievements in British ice hockey just cannot be described in words. I struggled in the programme. I'm struggling here now. Quite simply, the word legend is overused. The, the, what's beyond the legend? Super legend? I mean, he's like a Mario brother boss when you get through to like level 40. You, just unbelievable. Three goals for him tonight, but more importantly, and I'm sure he'll agree with me, two more points on the board for the Bison. So let's very quickly roll through the fixtures in the next couple of weeks. Tuesday, the 15th of February, the Basingstoke Bison welcome the Manchester Phoenix in the EPL Cup semi-final first leg into our humble little palace. 7.30 face-off. Make sure you get tickets. They are already flying out the door. They're available on 01256 355 266. Alternatively, you can purchase them via the official Basingstoke Bison website at www.bstokebison.co.uk. Dot. But before that, Sunday the 13th of February, the Baystoke Bison welcome the Telford Tigers into the Baystoke Arena. Sunday face-off, 5.30, tickets from the hotline on 01256 355 266. You're going to get bored of this number soon. And also on Bison, uh, the official Bison website, www.bstokebison.co.uk. Don't forget, of course, to purchase DVDs of the games, bisontv.bolsactionmedia.co.uk. It's been a Bison TV production brought to you by Volta Action Media in association with the Base Stoke Bison. We're not just speeding this up because really I know none of you watch this at the end. If you do, email in. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>